In this video we will create an uninstall script in PowerShell that will uninstall Mozilla Firefox. There are many ways to uninstall software of course. In this video we're gonna go through and find the uninstall command from the registry. You know in add remove programs and program and features when you uninstall a uh, program, a software, it's actually run the command out of the registry. So let's go there and pick it. So I'm going to start and type reg edit to start the registry editor. Sure, we say yes to that. And we're going to browse the location of the uninstall string. And it's not that easy to find, but I'm going to show a way that make it a lot faster in the future once you have found it. So since we install for a machine, we go under H key local machine. And then it's going to be under security. And here we have to take in to consideration is it a 32-bit or 64-bit uninstallation and it's a 64-bit. If it was a 32-bit we had to go in under here Windows on Windows 64-32 node or WOW 64-32 node and uh, browse there but we installed a 64-bit Mozilla in the previous video so we, we stay on 64-bit for uninstall also. So we go under security, uh, uh, so, sorry, software and then Microsoft and under Microsoft we should have Windows let's scroll a lot here now we are Windows let me click on it so it update up here the path under here it will be current version and under current version we have uninstall if we scroll down because U is pretty far down in the alphabet there we have uninstall so here we have all the listed the software in program and features that shows up uh, who are 64-bit and it's a bit difficult to find actually the Mozilla Firefox it's an X installer so they actually put the full name it's the one down here uh, but let's pretend that we didn't know that and if it's an MSI installer you have only the GUID so let's say we didn't know that and normally what I do is I put myself here on uninstall and then I search for it. But before that I mentioned that there is a quicker way. Well, you could paste in this uh, path uh, up here to go directly here. But to for future uh, reference, I love this feature in registry favorites. So we will add this as a favorite. And it's going to by default take the name of this uh, key uninstall and that's not so good name because if we go to the 32-bit installer uninstaller it's also going to be called uninstall so i'm going to prefix this with machine because we are in h key local machine and not user and then put x64 because we're in the 64 part and then do a dash uninstall you can name it whatever you want, of course. So if, if we click OK here, we have now saved this as a favorite. So we can quickly return here. So let's say that we go in under MDM. Mm, very fitting for an uh, Intune video. Current version MDM. And then we want to go back to the uninstall. You can just go favorites and click here on machine x64. And bam, we are back. So here we have all the software. Let's say we don't know which one but we know the name so we right click here and do find and I'm gonna put the uh, Firefox could search Mozilla as well and then we found, find it here perfect and let's look through all these keys and look for uninstall string it's here so here is actually the uninstall string that run if you go from uh, program and features so if I go to uh, add remove programs and then put in uh, Mozilla if I here run uninstall, it will actually go to the registry and read that that we copy. Let's keep this one open, but minimized. So this is our uninstall string. The problem here though is that this one isn't silent. Let's uh, run it for, we'll not finish it, but if I click on uninstall here and say yes, I want to uninstall it and click yes, we get uh, this um, wizard to click next, next, next and uninstall. And you definitely don't want that in Intune. You want it all silent. So we have a good start here. I'll copy this one with Control C because we will use it. And now we don't need registry anymore. And let's start a new uh, script for uninstall. Again, you can use Visual Studio Code. Um, 
PowerShell ISE or Atom or your preferred, I'm going to use Notepad++. So I start this one here and let's do our um, comments with the hash sign. And I'm going to call the purpose and it's going to be uninstall Mozilla Firefox. 64 bit and I'm by purpose don't put any version number here because this uninstall string actually uninstall all versions of uh, Mozilla Firefox but only if they are 64 bit so it's not only uninstalling version 91 it's installing any version and let's put the author and I put myself here and I like to put date as well or 10th August 2021 and the first line here what will we do uninstall Mozilla Firefox and we already know the command I'm gonna paste it here it's not exactly what what we need but we start here and to make it silent we need to do a forward slash and capital S this command if we would run it would actually silently uninstall uh, Mozilla Firefox. It will actually uninstall it even if started. So I'm going to start Firefox just to prove that and have it running while we later test this script. So here we have Firefox. I minimize it, but still running. So let's create some variable actually before uninstalling. So uh, variables and we need two variables we could do it a one-liner but I like this as best practice so let's start with the dollar and name the variable I'm gonna call it GBN uninstall file and that's gonna be the path to that uninstall file which actually is this one and now I I typed in the double quotation so that's the path. In the previous install script, we have a script root because it was uh, dynamic. We don't know where we run the files, but we don't need that here because the helper file, we know it will always be located here. Then we need some arguments. Let's uh, create another variable. I call it EBN arguments. Oh, if I can spell arguments. And actually it's only one. So argument would have been fine. And it's forward slash S, capital S. So now we have nearly all that we need. I'm going to delete line 11 here because we can't run that in PowerShell. And for, to uninstall, we can do start process. And what we're going to do, file path. And what which file we're going to run? We're going to run this helper exe. So I'm going to use this uh, variable here. Copy. And we have an argument argument list and I did an error in the previous video where it got an error but we corrected it so I hope it's I got it right this time and we're gonna use this variable here who add the forward slash capital S to make it silent and we can add a wait so it doesn't give us back the prompt until it's finished this should actually be it I should have saved this one a bit earlier so we could have seen the format let's do it now I will do a control S and I'm going to go back to our source files. So it's under C Intune, our Mozilla folder and the source. And if I save type as all, we're going to see all our other friends here. And we don't need any of these actually. The uninstallation um, works uh, solo. So I'll name it uninstall. I'm actually going to be lazy again here. I'm going to click on the install and steal a bit part of the name. So I'll put uninstall Mozilla Firefox. I will remove the version because this works for all version as long as it's the 64 bit and of course PS1 at the end. Very important PowerShell script. So we save this one and now we get the formatting. All the green are just for us and we specify variables. Again we don't have to use variables. We could have copied this one in and replaced this variable. Let's see if this works or if I've done any mistakes. So it's saved. In order to run this, so we see that Firefox is started. It's not going to uninstall our settings. We added Mozilla.cfg and an autoconfig.js file. That's going to stay because if we wanted that, we would have to create our own script here to delete those two files, but I'll let them be. They are only one kilobyte size, so it's not a problem. In order to find to run our script here, 
we can do C if we already had it started in tune Mozilla Firefox source what I like to do here is that you do uh, control uh, alt F then it will start from here um, uh, PowerShell command so I do alt F and then I could press S here but I'm gonna do with a mouse open uh, Windows PowerShell and then open Windows PowerShell as administrator if we don't open it as an administrator it will not have permission to uninstall the files and it will fail for sure so we open here elevate yes and it might fail already now so I do uh, dear this time you can do an ls as well to see what's in the directory so we have the uninstall so I'll do a dot for current directory backslash un and then tab for the rest let's see if this works when we're testing our powershell script uh, installer we might get an error and that depends on which execution policy we have on our system by default it is restricted so let me show here powershell let's run as administrator so if i run get execution policy it says it's restricted that means it's not going to work so if we go to our um, script in tune and we have uh, Google Chrome and we have our source folder so if we go in here here we have a file so let's say I want to test install um, a, a script that we have done here the Google Chrome the install script and I run it I'm gonna get an error and the error gonna be cannot be loaded because running script is disabled on this system and this is default on all Windows 10 system unless you have a group policy or something else and it's the recommended that's good for security what I'm doing temporary on my machine is that I'm changing that so you can set execution policy to unrestricted and I'm gonna do that yes to all so now I'll clear this if I now get execution policy it's going to be unrestricted and now if I would run this command it would actually work and I'm going to put side to side some other parts we have this one we don't have to show we have uh, did we close that we did close the program and features or add remote programs let's add that back to see that it's disappear Mozilla so we have it installed I put it here let's run it and see if it works first probably have done some typo or something we'll see it's down here if it disappear it started by the way there the icon disappeared that's a good uh, sign it's probably gone and it's also gone from uh, apps and features so it looks like the uninstall went very well and again the auto config GS and Mozilla CFG still gonna be there we can browse to the program files uh, folder so it's not totally gone I mean the software is gone but we left over some files or we I did Mozilla Firefox so here we have Mozilla CFG that's the one we copied in and under default pref we have a autoconfig.js Mozilla uninstaller will not remove it because it's me who actually added them there and we also have to be deleted because well it still started Mozilla Firefox but when I close it and sooner or later these files will be gone but it's considered uninstalled great so we have a script that it's working in our package that we will later will package and use in Intune all done in um, PowerShell so a recap we added some comments we added which file to run to uninstall which we put the file path to and then the argument only a forward slash capital S uninstall it great that worked very well well done thank you